So here we are. Brand new year, brand new office, brand new setup, same music though. You just probably heard the same music on the little intro and stuff. I'm going to change all that up this year in 2019. Good evening, everybody. It's just gone 9 p.m. here in the UK. If you are listening on the replay on the Acts on the TV audio experience on iTunes, huge shout out to you. If you're watching on YouTube on the replay, massive shout out to you. But do come and join us live. I can just see loads of people joining us live right now. Alex Hewitt's just joined us in the house. All right, Alex, hope you're well, mate. Bumped into you the other day. Um, hope you're good. Steve Connolly's here. David Hopper's here. Dawn's here. Mar- uh, Mary's here um come and join us live like if you're listening on the replay or something like that because you're just going to get way more out of it you know we've got like an awesome little community going here um you can ask your questions live we can all chip in it's not just me you know it's like you can pick the brains of everybody who joins on these broadcasts live um so it's cool very very good tonight we're going to be looking at it's just a general broadcast tonight right we're going to start the book club from next monday every other week this year we're going to be doing the book club we looked at some awesome books last year i'm going to um give you a link in a minute to go and check out some of those books if you want to buy them and actually you know read them yourself this year we're um, on the book club because we only look at one book a month we're going to get to look at like four no it's not even four chapters is it it's every other week two chapters really um so yeah you should get the rest of the books that we read last year like go and read the rest of them not just the chapters that we cover john fisk in the house john i saw you sign up today for a premium membership at on this.tv thank you for that mate and um, those who are joining us live um, for the first time or wherever you if you listen on the, the replay or whatever if you've not got your membership for acts on this.tv the main website attached to everything that i do um, you need to go and get a membership. I've just I've just booked in three people today. I'm not going to can't tell you their names yet, really, who are going to be doing podcasts with me in the next two weeks. You're going to get like three features in the next two weeks. One's with a great agent. One's with a famous actor who you will know, um, and the other one is with a director who's just making massive strides right now, working with huge people, and he's looking for new talent. I'm going to be talking to him about ultimately how you can get on his radar. Um, that's all by the end of January. There's going to be so many great interviews with absolute like gold in them that's going to help you get further in your acting career faster this year. Get a membership at sunday.tv. Um so uh yeah, thanks for that. So tonight we're looking at uh, Alex is watching the gym tonight. Nice one Alex. Get you some get your guns pumped while uh, while you're watching the broadcast. Tonight we're looking at ultimately um how we can all ensure we're going to have a much better year in 2019 than we had in 2018. It doesn't mean you had to have had a bad year in 2018, right? Everybody's got their next level to go to. Truly believe that. It doesn't matter how successful you are in this industry. You've always got a next level to go to. I was talking to an actor today who's been very successful in this country. His next level is America. He's, you know, and, he, and, he, and he was telling me you know, all of the fears that crop up. And this guy's really well known. I mean, you will all know who this guy is. Um, and he was like, look, you know, I'm afraid of this. I'm afraid of going out and it not working. I'm afraid of the 10 grand it's going to cost me just to go out there for two months. That's just what it costs for his trip. Um, I'm afraid um, of leaving my family for two months and, you know, leaving my business. He's got a business over here as well. Leaving my business for two months. Um, all of these fears that could masquerade themselves as practicality and stop him from doing that. Um, but he knows he's got this next level to go to and he's not going to get there in this country right now. You know, I mean, he's working at, the top level right now so to get to the next level he's got to step up get out of his comfort zone and go and do something he's never done before you're all gonna to have to do that this year i am gonna to have to do that this year i've been talking to people about how i'm gonna do that this year as well today um i just think it's an exciting time and i just hope everybody's pumped for the new year and like i say regardless of how it started for you uh, if it's not started all that well doesn't mean you know that's how it's got to finish it's the 7th of january you've got plenty of time left and um, so i want to start off with just giving you guys three free resources that I don't know if you will have seen um, me put out over Christmas and New Year. I want to give you them now, just in case you haven't. I'm going to show you um, how you can get to them. Uh, basically, let me put my web browser on. Okay, this always happens. It just goes black for a second. Now let's do that and do that. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You should still be away at me, but it'll just be black for a sec. Right, I'm just going to launch my web browser again. Is that come on? Come on, Safari. Oh, what you're playing at, man. So it's new tech. So it's just live, isn't it? There you go. Boom. Right. So you should see. Can you see my my can you see outside this TV now? You should see the home page. It'll be black on your screen for a minute and then it'll go onto the home page. I can see it, so hopefully you should be able to see it. Archie's in the house. Went to see Archie today. Archie man, awesome catch up with you today. Archie's an uh, an agent. Um, for JLA Talent, 
um, Jamie's uh, Jamie Lomas's uh, agency. Um, John says, I joined Ats on this TV. You did, John. Thank you for that. Appreciate that, man. And Bobby's here as well. So you're seeing the main Ats on this website, right? Just want to show you how you can get three free resources that are put out. The first one is I'm, I'm really big on um, people using Twitter to network with casting directors, agents, actors, writers, producers. The whole acting industry hangs out on Twitter and people are like who the hell do I follow on Twitter I don't know who to follow yet so I'm going to add to this list this year but last year I created a, um, a list of the 33 people I saw towards the back end of last year putting the most value out on Twitter if you go to actsonthis.tv forward slash p it's really important right it's not going to you're not going to have to put that in for long actually I'm going to sort it the website out so you don't need that in a couple of months time but for now actsonthis.tv forward slash p forward slash twitter and that's going to take you to this page here where you can whack your name and your email address in if this is going to if this is going to load come on Look at all these tech these tech things tonight load twitter page there you go um it's going to take you to this page here where basically you just whack your first name in and your email address and you're going to get sent a link to download well it's not even download it's a web page it's interactive you're going to get access to that's going to give you um, the 33 casting directors, um, including casting assistants as well, that I think you should be following on Twitter. You literally just log into Twitter. As long as you're logged into Twitter on a different you know, tab in your browser, you can go down this page and just click follow, 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 follow. You can have them all followed in about a minute. So that's the first thing. So get a pen, just write it down because um, there's another two more these I'm going to send you to. So the first one is that's on this .tv forward slash P forward slash Twitter. Um, first name and your email address in there. You're going to get access to that. Um, the second one it was a goal setting, a massive on goal setting, okay, like really getting clear on what you want to achieve um, this year. Um, and I created a goal setting guide, basically a PDF book that you can just read that will walk you through how to set smart goals in and out of your acting career as well. They don't have to be even acting goals. They can be goals in all areas of your life. And you should set goals in all, all areas of your life from your acting career to your relationships, to your physicality, to your finances, spirituality, emotional mastery, friendships, all kinds of things. I think people should be, you know, be really setting seven to 10 goals at any one time. No more than that. You'll get massively overwhelmed. But I think seven goals in different areas of your life spread throughout your life can be really really useful and not all goals that you're going after literally right now you can have your one month goals your three month goals your six month goals your yearly goals and um, but this guide will tell you how to do that and that's act on this.tv forward slash p again but rather than twitter it's forward slash goals it's going to take you to a very similar oh i've done that wrong haven't i done that wrong forward slash p forward slash goals i'm going to take you to a very similar um page to the one you just saw with the uh, form on to get the Twitter stuff. It's taking a while to load in it. It's because I'm broadcasting on my phone as well as using my phone to use the uh, internet for the web as well. Um, but it's going to take you to a very similar page basically where again you would put your name and your um, email address in. Come on, load. Load. There you go. Name your email address. Uh, it says des design the life and acting career you want in 2019. Again, you're just going to get that. You can get a link basically to a PDF you can just download for free. There's no con attached to this. I don't want anything from you for this. Um, the information in this guide transformed my life in 2014. No bullshit. Not bullshitting you at all. When I learned how to set strategic smart goals in 2014, a guy called Michael Hyatt taught me how to do it initially. Um, I achieved more in 2014 than I'd achieved probably in like in the last four years before that. And I thought, wow, like, holy shit, this, this stuff, when you know, when you get clear and you get clarity on what you want from your life, like it actually makes a massive difference because you're waking up in the morning with like clear objectives because you break your goals down into manageable steps effectively. You don't need to see every step on the staircase. You just need to see the next step. And once you've done that one, the step after that will, will, you know, will show itself. Um, so I'm massive on that. So go and get that again. Write that. Write that down if you um, so you don't forget it. It's actonthis.tv forward slash p forward slash goals. Get that for free. Um, and the the last thing you don't even need to put your email address in for this. I've just set up a page um, based on the book club that we did. Or I do a book club every other week for those who are new to this. Uh, we're going to be doing the book club from next Monday at the same time, 9 p.m. UK time. Or maybe you know what? I wanted to ask you guys. Do you, do you want to bring these broadcasts forward an hour? I was, I was trying to think what would make it easy for people to attend. Is 8 o'clock better than 9? Let me know. I'll, I'll come on camera and ask, ask properly in a second. Um, 
it would be uh, it would be good to know because maybe we just do them at eight o'clock if it's easy. If people don't, you know, I know people want to get to bed early. If these aren't finishing until ten, sometimes people will be like, "Listen, uh, we'll be better doing them earlier." I'm up for that. That's fine. Whatever you want. Karen's here. All right, Karen. Hope you are well. Karen Brand in the house. John says this guy is genuinely a genius. I'm not a genius, John, but thanks very much for the compliment. Appreciate that. Uh, right back at you, mate. Archie says sat here with Kel Allen. Kel, legendary Kel. Um, Tina Tassels or whatever her name is in Coronation Street. All right, Kel. Hope you uh, hope you are well. Not seen you in a while. Um, Fanny's here as well. Got massively overwhelmed with my goals last year. She said set far too many. Yeah, you don't want to set too many, Fanny. It's like something you know everybody can easily uh, can easily get carried away. And it's great because you want to achieve a lot, but I just think you can get overwhelmed and you end up just procrastinating going. I do that sometimes when I've set goals in the past before and you know how to do it properly. I set all these goals at New Year and then, oh, we're so overwhelmed. Didn't I wish I wanted to start first? Thus, I didn't start any. Um, Dawn said we'll be better at 8 p.m. Well, let's talk about that in a second. Um, but yeah, the the book club, like the books that, that we read last year, although we only got through like two chapters of each because we're just doing for two weeks of the month, they're so powerful. Um, and people were emailing me going, Ross, what books do I get? And I was like, look, get the ones from the book club. And they're like, oh, but, you know, I can't remember what we did. Um, you can go to YouTube. It's it's youtube.com forward slash ats on this TV. And there's a book club section, a Periscope replay, Facebook and Periscope replay section on there. Every one of these live broadcasts is available on there for you to watch. But, I, I you know, I get it. You'd have to trawl through them to look at the books. So I've just got, I've created a book list. If you go to ats on this TV forward slash P forward slash book list, if this loads, I'm going to take you to this page here where not only can you just click that red button there and just subscribe on YouTube so you can watch all the replays of these, but I've listed the 12 books that I just think everybody should read in 2019. And these are all books from the book club from last year. Um, They're fantastic. And to make it super easy so you've got no excuse about where to buy it or how to find it, um, I've put a blue button that says buy on Amazon underneath each of these books. And you just literally click it and it's just going to take you through to get the book from Amazon. So this, I mean, this book that I put up first, The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson, just an incredible book, like such a, a fantastic book in terms of ultimately helping you with just making the right decisions. The book is a, um, it's a way of, well, it says there, a way of thinking that enables daily choices leading to the success and happiness you you desire. And it's not about making massive decisions in your life that like, you know, you think would affect your life. It's really about the small decisions you make on a daily basis, the tiny little things um, that seem insignificant, that actually are really significant when they compound and mount up over a month, two months, three months. Fantastic book. If you were like, actually, I want to find out more about that and buy it, click on buy on Amazon. And it just takes you through to a page. Um, hopefully that'll load. Let me slow internet here. Um, where you can buy that. Let me refresh that. If we can just get the book on Amazon, it'll take you straight there. Um, these are all primable Amazon books in terms of if you've got Amazon Prime, you get next day delivery on it. Come on, Safari. What's it saying now? Cannot open this page. You absolutely can. You're just playing up because of my internet. It would work if I wasn't broadcasting live. Hopefully, um, you're all still seeing and hearing me. <laughs> Come on, I'm going to try it one more time. Let's go to here. Let's try it one more time. Here we go. It's just not having it at all, is it now? It's just saying, computer's just saying completely no. I'm still on though, yeah? You're still hearing me on the broadcast. Um, but yeah, it would work if I actually had proper internet connection on my uh, on my computer right now. Um, so yeah, to get that, it's actonthis.tv forward slash book list. And um, you don't need to do anything to get that. But I just thought it's just an easier way. Just choose one book. Don't get them all. That'll just overwhelm you. Don't get them all. Uh, there's a button at the bottom there as well to um, subscribe to the replays of what you're watching now, but the audio of them on iTunes. I also put the audio of all of these live broadcasts out on iTunes. Um, it's called the Acts on This TV Audio Experience. Um, and it's just another way for you to catch up and stay in the loop. I just want to give people like no excuse not to be building the best version of themselves, basically. You either watch these live, you watch them um, on the replay on YouTube or on Facebook, or you listen to the audio whilst you're at the gym or whatever you're doing by subscribing on iTunes. So three resources I just thought would be helpful for you. Don't want anything for them. Um, I just really hope they help you make 2019 your best year ever. So to recap, at on this.tv forward slash P forward slash Twitter, at on this.tv forward slash P forward slash goals, and at on this.tv forward slash P forward slash book list. Go get it. Um, 
Are we all on the same page? Hopefully we are. Let me have a look, see what's going on. It looks like I am still live. That's all good. Tony Ross is in the house from Chicago. All right, Tony. I set a few goals on New Year's Eve, says Sharon. Make sure you uh, keep... Do you know what the key to, to, to making sure you actually hit these goals as well, Sharon, everyone in here, it's, um, it's checking in with yourself. Like most people set a, set a goal on New Year's Eve, Sharon, and then they, what do they do? They review it the following New Year's Eve. Did I hit it? You know, and it's like, well, actually, you know what? No, I didn't. And why didn't you hit it? Because you actually only checked in on yourself on how well you were doing with it a year later. If you checked in with yourself once a month, you'd have 12 times the chance of hitting it. If you checked in with yourself once a week, you'd have 52 times the chance of hitting that goal because you'd be like, whoa, you know what? I've gone off track and you'd get myself back on. If you checked in every day, you know, 365 times the chance of hitting that goal. So it's about tracking goals. I always use something called workflowy.com. Um, it's a free listing app. You can just write down what you've got to do the next day. I set my big three things that I've got to do the next day, the night before. And again, you're waking up with intention. You're waking up knowing what you're going to do as opposed to, you know, getting in the shower and thinking, oh shit, what am I going to do this morning? I don't know what I've got to do. You know, you're setting up with just setting the intention for the next day. Ultimately, you're going to wake up with purpose. Um, so you keep going for those goals, Sharon. Uh, love that idea. Would be great if they're on audiobook too. A lot of those books are on audiobook, Sharon. Um, and the, even you know what? When you click that little button to go on Amazon, I think the audiobook is going to be available like on the same page as the as the hardback copy as well. Um, Fanny says that's the one goal I definitely did fulfill last year. Set out to read a book a month and ended up reading twenty one. Boom! You read more than me. More than me. Absolutely. We did those. Well, we did 12, 12 books on the uh, on the book club um, last year. So that's. Uh, so that's massive. John says it's a big document. He's talking about the goal setting guide. Yeah, the goal setting guide is like a decent, you know, it's not just like a freebie one page PDF. It's genuinely like I've written it properly for you. It's a, you know, it's a little like pamphlet thing. You know, it's a few, quite a few pages long. Um, that's on this TV forward slash P forward slash goals. Um, John says he's got gym at eight o'clock. So you wouldn't want the, the broadcast at eight o'clock. Kevin Harper's in the house. Kevin, not seen you in ages, mate. Hope you are, uh, hope you are very well. Um, so there's the resources, just wanted to give you those. Um, second thing, I'm going to be going live a lot more through the day in the Facebook group. And I want to coin every day of the week something that's just going to nudge everyone, and including myself, you know, because it's accountability for myself, nudge us further towards what we want to achieve this year. Today, I put a little video out in the Facebook group. Uh, if you're not a member of that, if you're watching this on the Facebook page, come and join the Ads on This Facebook group, which is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Ads on This TV. Um, and it was called Mail Out Monday. And I was saying um, how every Monday, and I've not really spoke about this before, I don't think, but every Monday what I do is I consciously, I mail one person I already know to reconnect and hook up with and go for a drink, you know, or a coffee or whatever. Um, and I email one person or social media message, one person who I don't know, who I think I could bring value to and they could bring value to me both in my career and out of my career. It's something I've been doing for a long time um, and it's just paid dividends. So Archie was on here today. Um, I messaged him last week. I think I probably messaged you on New Year's Day, Archie, to go, right, next week, let's get together. Um, I want to bring Archie on. He's a great agent. I want to bring him on to do a podcast on that's on this.tv. Um, I wanted to bring uh, yeah him in the mix. I was like, listen, let's get a coffee next week. We just did that today. It was an awesome meeting. Him, Jamie Lomas, um, and then the other guy I wanted to catch up with, who was someone I already knew, was Phil Barantini, who's a fantastic director. The guy's just going places. Such a good guy. Genuinely top bloke. Very talented director. And just like just gets it. It's just like, you know, it's just one of us. He's just a decent bloke. No bullshit. Just like hard worker um, and a go-getter. Um, we actually managed to tie the meeting in like for all of us. So we all went to Archie and Jamie Lomassi's offices. Um, Anthony Crank was there as well. Great acting coach. And we just sat there for like, what, three hours or something like that. All talking about how we could help each other, like how we could bring value. That was literally how the conversation went. How, you know, what can I do for you? Oh, you could this. Well, what could I do for you? Oh, you could help me with this can't tell you the difference it makes in your life and a lot of actors I spoke to you know they, they just stay they stay at home they're afraid to reach out I don't know for whatever reason rejection or whatever it is um and people at the acts on this meetup on Saturday where I do a meetup every month in Manchester and in London they were like look I feel a bit ultimately lonely you know like it can be a lonely game can't it and that's because you're not actively bringing quality people into your life. I have this thing, OQP, only quality people. The more quality people you can surround yourself with, particularly those who are more successful than you, 
the more inspired you are, the more motivated you are. I came away from that meeting today with so many ideas buzzing. Um, and also with the podcast books in with Archie, a podcast books in with Jamie and a podcast books in with Phil. So they're all going to be on uh, atsonlist.tv later this month or in February. Chris Edge in the house. Chris, not seen you in a while either, mate. And Justine O'Rourke in the house as well. Hope you are well. Hi from Dublin, she says. Huge shout out to Dublin. Um, so yeah, it's Mail Out Monday. So have a think, or does anyone already do this? But uh, you know, I'm going to put these videos on each day. I don't know what Tuesday's going to be. I'm going to come up with it in a bit. Hashtag for Tuesday tomorrow. And I'm going to do another live broadcast tomorrow morning in the Facebook group well, from my phone, not like this. Um, just while I'm making a coffee and just be like, right, these are the things that I think we should be focusing on today. Um, I just think it holds people accountable, you know, just gives you ideas for certain certain things to take yourself forward. Um, but yeah, I think you should make, I am definitely going to make even more of an effort than normal this year to widen my my circle. Ultimately, go to more networking events, go to more press nights, um, reach out and offer value to more people, um, and just take some risks. You know, I think we can all take more risks in our life because you know, I was talking to someone today um, this morning at my, my voiceover agents, and we were just discussing how short life is, and going, you know what, God, like, why are we so afraid of doing shit that like is never going to kill us? And it's weird, isn't it? But we are, you know, you can just feel that fear sometimes and it just talks you out of doing something. And generally, the consequence of it not working out is just so tiny. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you reach out to someone and they ignore you or they say no. Just never going to kill you. Um, Steve Wayne is in the house. All right, Steve, Tony's here. Totally agree. I have uh, I have to go to coffee shops to work because I get moody and less work done at home alone. Yeah, sometimes you've got to get out. I'm really lucky. So in this apartment block here, Tony, um, we've got Tony's in Chicago, but in the UK we have a, a, a coffee chain called Costa. Um, I think it's better than Starbucks now. And I used to be like proper pro Starbucks, man. Um, but sometimes I just have to go and just sit in there to be around people and I work on my laptop for a bit. You just need some kind of like, you feel part of the world again sometimes. Equally, I like locking myself in here and just, you know, losing myself in my work. Uh, but sometimes you just need to go out and, um, and yeah, have some human contact. Particularly if you don't have loads of mates who are actors as well. You know, like I don't hang out with that many actors. A lot of my friends who I grew up with um, are, you know, they all just do regular jobs. Um, so, you know, I have to go specifically to events to find actors. I mean, I've got, you know, a lot of a lot of acquaintances and, and people who are actors, but in terms of people who I would, you know, have, you know, just on speed dial to go, right, you're around, you live locally and you want to go for a brew. I've got to consciously go out and find those people as opposed to, you know, my mates who are just all around me. Um, Steve's here. All right, Steve. Karen says, I felt like that last year, booked onto two acting courses. Also, the monologue slam. Yes, awesome monologue slam, Karen. I saw that. That's what I mean. I had to go to that event. Something theatre I don't go to a lot of, but I went to that event you were performing at, Karen. I'm like, you know what? I need to do this more. This was great. Um, also, yeah, the monologue slam wrote a lot, learned a lot about myself, aiming to do even more this year. Boom, got to do that. I thought you were great, Karen. You, you, that monologue you did was fantastic, well written, really well performed. Do more of it. Mind going crazy with ideas, says Archie. Great, but I, Archie's rogue, you know. What I like about Archie as an agent doesn't do. I'm going to save all this for the podcast, Archie. It doesn't do anything like by the book, just cheeky, rogue. Likes a little bribe <laughs> in an ethical way. Ethical bribes, um, mate. Yeah, I was like, I just love what you guys are doing at the agency. Just, just um, it excites me. The buzz around around the office and Archie's JLA, the agency within something called the Sharp Project. It's called the Sharp Project in Manchester because it's the where like production line, massive warehouse thing that they used to make sharp TVs. You know, Sharp, the the TV company. Um, no longer going um i don't think because the sharp project is now not a production facility it's a production facility for tv um shows not tv sets as in actual tvs you know um that's where they used to be made um it's now a hub of creativity loads of production companies there jla the agency that archie's uh, an agent at are all based out of the sharp project um so it's brilliant it's got the bancroft office next door with itv it's basically it's brilliant mate isn't it you know just drops, drops them off some donuts. That's how we roll. Costa over Starbucks, Alex. Definitely. That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. No, honestly. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm changing. Starbucks seems to be going clinical, very dark in their chains now. And like, they're putting benches out and not comfy chairs. I think they want you to go in, have a coffee, and get out where they used to have these big chairs. And you felt you could go in and just work for the afternoon there. I think they just want to get people out now. Um, he lives above Costa. I'm not sure. I do live above Costa. Yeah, I could wave to you if you're in Costa. Um, I'm three floors up, Steve. You can't get into the building. <laughs> I'm safe. It's fine. Uh, Chris is speaking of reaching out. Recently heard of a massive theatre project being cast. 
was desperate to be seen. I ended up guessing the director's huge name. I uh, guessed the director's email, brackets huge name. Big risk, but it paid off. Had a casting and waiting to hear. Boom, exactly. You know what? Like, I mean, there's, there's, if you, you know, after castings and stuff, then you, and you hear somebody's doing something like within organizations like the BBC or ITV, you can always guess their email addresses. The BBC is always first name dot second name at bbc.co.uk. ITV is generally first name dot second name at itv.com. Um, so just, yeah, guess them, Chris, or look them up on LinkedIn, man. But yeah, good, good, uh, good hustle there. Fair play, man. Let us know if you, um, if you get anything back, weren't you in America for a bit, Chris? Did you go to America? Let us know, mate. I can't remember how. I'm sure it was you, wasn't it? How did that work out? Um, let us know. So, uh, so yeah, that's that's Mail Out Monday. Don't know what Tuesday's going to be, but I'm going to figure it out and I'll go live tomorrow in the Facebook group. Um, so for the rest of this broadcast, got like, you know, good 20 minutes or so. Um, let's, just, let's just get our heads together with you know, things that like you might need help with this year and how we can all, I do this at the Acts on this meetup. So we go around the table and we say, listen, what's the thing you want to achieve in the next 30 days that would make everything else easier or unnecessary if you had it? And it can't be a Euro Millions lottery win. I can't help you with that. Um, but there might be something that you're like, you know what, if I just knew who could cut my show reel, if I just knew who I should go to for a decent headshot, if I just know knew who to uh, reach out to, with my show reel, if I knew who was casting such and such a thing or whatever, um, Archie's actually the man to find out who's casting stuff before it even goes on the spotlight. <laughs> Again, he's rogue, man. I love it. Um, but yeah, let me know if there's anything that you think I could help you with. And I mean now, right now, live, ask it in the Facebook um, section of the comments here. Um, and not only me, I can help you, but everyone else on this broadcast right now can help you figure out what that is. Um, anything to do with the acting industry, anything to do with, um, I mean, other things of mine, voiceover, massive, massive part of my life. Um, online business, you know, web design, online business, building a side hustle so you can get out of your day job that you hate. I spent 11 years in a day job. Well, you know what? I didn't spend 11 years. I spent 11 years in a day job um, before I decided, I, well, before I got established enough to just do acting full time. But um, the probably the last six years of it, I hated it. First five years, I was probably all right with it, to be honest, 16 to 21. And then when I was at uni, and all, well, probably when I left uni. So let's say the last four years of it, awful. Um, and there's a lot of people stuck in jobs they hate. Verona, how you doing? Hope you're well. Um, yeah, there's people stuck in day jobs that they don't want to do um, to fund their acting career. And I'm like, listen, you know, that's what you have to do for your nine till five. But what are you doing for your five till nine after work or your six till midnight, whatever it is, because you are kidding yourself if you are convincing yourself that, that the only way for you to, to do this is, you know, is to work that shit job. You really are. It's a massive excuse and you're playing the victim. Um, I think we've never had it better. If you've got a smartphone, you can set up an online business, whatever that is for you. I know actresses who have set up cupcake businesses, t-shirt printing businesses, um, you know, or someone who set up a business around um, hampers for that that people would buy people for um, you know good luck at the start of a theatre run or something like that. They set up a business just around that. Going, listen, these are these great hampers you can buy for your cast to say, listen, all the best for this run in in theatre. Let's go, making money from that. Um, all kinds of crazy ideas. People paint, sell their paintings. Um, someone I was working with who was doing that. Um, loads of stuff to create a business, but. You've got, you know, you've got that time after work and a lot of people come home after work and they're feeling kind of down and sad because they're doing the job they don't like and they just want to sit and put their feet up and watch Netflix. You will forever lose if that's your mentality. So if you want to know about online business, um, area in my life that changed my life massively years ago, 2011, started out in online business, been doing that now for eight years. Um, let me know, can help you with that. Social media, brand building. Amy Allen, good evening. Um, all sorts of, uh, all sorts of stuff. Um, I can uh, I can help you with and other people on here can help you as well so get your questions in Chris says yeah did go to America spent a year studying in Cali nice man was great but happy to be back just nice to be home innit talking to people today about going to America and I'm like the few times I've been it's like <laughs> love it but you know what <sighs> just nothing like the UK for me just maybe I'm just like sad I need to broaden my horizons but I'm like everything I need is in the UK and America I love but it's bloody intense innit I don't think I could 
just, I don't know, it doesn't interest me that much to go, right, I want to go and, you know, make it in, in Hollywood right now. You make it in the UK first. Karen wants a coffee with you, uh, Archie. She's just being brash and asking, you know what? I always say, ask ask for what you want. There you go. You can always say no. Um, David said, I've been doing this self-tape course, Manuel Puro. Yeah, yeah, awesome course. A 21-day course and you get to send a new self-tape to do it at 7 p.m., 4, 7 p.m. the following day. I've learned so much from it. It only costs 35 quid. I'm a big fan of that course. I haven't done it, but I know a lot of people who do, who have done it and are doing it now. Um, and it's it's really good value. It is only 35 quid. If you want to get better at self-taping and learn how to do self-tapes, yeah, I um, wouldn't mind getting Manuel on for a uh, a uh, podcast or something or a broadcast. I, I like people who offer genuine value to the industry. I believe, you know, believe he does definitely hey ross i'm well thanks hope you are too been a while it has verona good to see you back in the game though back on the broadcast before this course i'd only done one self tape to david for vera i did a self tape for vera quite a while ago you know i was a, bit a, I was a hairdresser i was like a geordie hairdresser like that um i didn't get it obviously my uh geordie accent wasn't good enough david um i had to do it spotlight because i was clueless on how to do it he says now i'd be happy to do one from home uh, self taping is only going to get bigger in 2019 just is if you've not got a space at home to self tape um you need to get one and the sooner the better so in the last two months i've done two no in the last like month actually i've done two self tapes myself for itv shows decent shows and two for two friends of mine for really decent shows as well um big casting directors are casting via self tape now like particularly for the roles that are only one episode and stuff um it will pay dividends if you invest in a backdrop, some some lights that aren't expensive, some lights, a backdrop, um, and it doesn't have to be an expensive camera. I mean, your iPhone will do, to be honest, if you've got a decent iPhone, one of the late ones. Um, anything past like an 8 um, tends to have a better camera on it. The 10's got a great camera on it. The new ones have got an even better camera on it. But if you can get like a little DSLR, if you're not, you know, if you're not adverse to spending a couple of hundred quid on a DSLR to do your self-tapes that would have a... Um, an external microphone output so you could get a better mic than the mic on your iPhone or Rode do something great. I'll show you this. Um, hang on. Hang on a minute. Wait a sec. There you go. Rode microphone sponsor at sunless.tv. They send me a lot of kit. They're great. These mics are great. Those on the audio experience, you can't see it because you've got no picture, but it's called a Smart Lab Plus. This plugs directly into your iPhone. Um, and you can actually record audio on a on a what's called a lavalier a lavalier lavalier a lavalier microphone. It's like a tie microphone. It just clips onto your t-shirt. I use I use a, a wireless version of that. This is wired, but you can get an extension for this. So you'll see it on the back there how it plugs into your iPhone. Um, if you don't think that's long enough, uh, one sec. You can get oh you can get one of these an SC one, and this is just like what is this like a couple of meters, six meters. Um, of of cable for an extension, so you could definitely set your your iPhone up on a tripod, and then you just plug the extension SC1 into your Smart Lab Plus into your iPhone, and then you can sit six meters from it. Six meters is the entire length of my front room and kitchen combined. Um, so that's one way to get better quality audio, um, even if you just want to shoot on a smartphone. It doesn't just work on iPhone, that either. It'll work on you know other smartphones as well. And you get various adapters for it, so it'll work with lightning connectors now or just six millimeter jacks and all kinds of different things. Um, but yeah, self-taping, you should definitely get more au fait with if you've not done one before. Uh, I give myself a deadline for September, says Verona. Never done this before, but feel like I have to, due to my age, if I don't see progress by then, I need to get a job. What, what are you talking about, Verona? So you need to what? You're going to give yourself a deadline, what, September to, to make progress in your acting career or to do a specific thing? What is, let us know a bit more about that if there's something that's specific that we can all help you with. Um, Tony wants us to come visit him in Chicago. Tony, come, and, come, come to the UK and then we'll come to Chicago. <laughs> Get yourself over here. Get yourself over here. Um, it's not a bad idea, Verona. Verona says, is, is this a bad idea? I want to know exactly what you mean, though. Like I said, do you mean you're going to hit a specific thing whether it's your, i don't know what you've done cv wise or stage wise what you want to achieve whether you want you're looking for your first credit or more than that i don't know what i don't know where you're up to but um let us know and we can give you some advice with regards to online businesses alex as you know ross i created a website for actors to sign up to to get advice to start in the industry but i found that people weren't signing up so i was obviously doing something wrong but i'm not sure what um oh alex it's, it's a tough one mate i mean when i set up acts on this.tv initially um it's it's very difficult to gain people's trust initially um 
And I get it because it's difficult to gain my trust in this industry with these the sites and things that pop up. It seems like there's a, there's a new thing every every month or so. Um, and generally, what I find, I mean, it's all about authenticity for me. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, when I first started acting on this, I did it all wrong, Alex. And I'll tell you why I did it all wrong, because I was not authentic to who I was as a person. So I set up acting on this.tv after working in casting for a couple of years, and I learned so much in casting. I worked for one of the biggest casting directors in the country, an amazing casting director called Beverly Keogh, cast huge dramas, and I learned so much in the two years I was around that office. I thought, you know what, if I can put all this online, I can save so many actors out there the four years that it had taken me since leaving drama school of banging my head against a brick wall before I learned this stuff, and that's why I went to work in casting. I thought, I need to know about the industry properly. But what I did is I thought, no one's going to take me seriously as an actor who has just left drama school and doesn't have that much experience. I'm going to set this website up and I had imposter syndrome. Why would anybody listen to me? Why should I be, you know, why am I the expert? I'm not an expert. You know, I'm brand new to the industry. I've been to drama school, but that's it. Um, and I tried to masquerade, act on this as a business that was massive. So I would send emails out from the team I mean, it's bullshit. I didn't have a team. To this day, I don't have a team. There's me running Act on this.tv. That's it. I have Petch, Lee Petch, and my cameraman. Um, I have... Uh, <laughs> that's what I think. Like, it's no one, really. It's just me still. But I, yeah, tried to masquerade like I was this big company because I thought people would trust the company. They didn't. It was actually the opposite. They were like, oh, this is some company that's clearly just after our money. It's bullshit. It's not, you know, I wasn't being authentic. I wasn't saying, hi, guys. I'm this guy who's just left drama school. I've been working for Casting Arts for a couple of years. I've learned all this stuff, and I'd like to share it with you. Um, and that's what I should have been doing. And it got to the point where after about six months of literally tumbleweed, I was putting 12 hours a day, 16 hours a day into this website, and I was getting nothing back. No one was signing up. Um, no one was listening to my stuff. No one was sharing it on social media. And I was like, Pfft. A thankless task, you know, maybe the same for me. Screw it. And I and I sent one email out. I thought, this is the last email I'll ever send my email list. And by that point, I only had about 300 people on my email list. And the, the title of the email was, What Have I Done Wrong? And I wrote this email. I just kind of pulled my heart out a little bit. And I said, listen, I've got a confession to make. Um, I set up acting this six months ago. You've joined my email list, but I've noticed that you know barely anyone's going on the website, barely anyone's listening to the podcast that I'm creating. And this is when I was doing podcasts over the phone. I was literally recording phone conversations with like Malcolm Sinclair, the president of Equity, or a director I'd worked with on Emmerdale or something like that. They were really primitive podcasts, but the information in them was still really valuable. I was like, why does anyone want this? I don't understand. Um, and I said, listen, I've got a confession to make. I've been masquerading this big company. Um, actually, it's just me just me on my own. Um, I'm funding this myself out of my own pocket. There's no backing off anybody. It's not in conjunction with anybody else. Um, I just kind of wanted to, you know, ask you why you've not been getting involved with it and also apologize really for kind of not being authentic and being myself. Um, I'm thinking of calling it a daylight, but, you know, would love to get your feedback. And I sent that out to like 300 people. And previously in the past, I'd had a look. You can have a look at who's opening your emails and how many people are clicking on them. And like, hardly anybody had been opening them or clicking on them, and no one had been replying to them. I mean, no one had sent me a reply. And I just asked at the end of this, "Listen, send me a reply. Give me some feedback. I'd love to know what I've done wrong." And I had about seventy-five replies out of three hundred. I mean, that's massive, massive amount of replies. And they were all like, "Oh my god!" Like, so. Um, it's so amazing to hear that. Like, I thought you were just this company. I thought you just, you know, this new company trying to get money out of actors. If I'd have known this, it would have been very different. I was like, oh my God, a massive lesson learned in authenticity and integrity and just not trying to be bigger than you are um, for fear that people will reject who you actually are. Um, and that was a massive turning point in acts on this. So I don't know how you've marketed the site, Alex, um, but maybe, um, yeah, I don't know whether, you know, you've told people that it's you. And that you're just doing that. And the other thing as well is like, um, the, what what I try and do with acts on this is I never profess to be like the guru or anything like that because I'm not, right? I'm just not. I work regularly, but I'm just on this journey like everybody else is and I'm nowhere near where I actually want to end up. Um, and I think that's really useful to tell people as well. So listen, you know what? All I'm doing on acts on this for me is I'm just bringing, I'm the bridge between you lot and people in the industry you'd want to talk to. 
So I'm just like curating all this information. I'm never professing to be the Don, the guru. I've never, I would never ever do an acting class. I'd never try and teach somebody how to act. That's not what I'm here for at all. I'm all about information. Um, and one area, you know, I think I've got a lot of expertise in is, is personal development and productivity and ultimately, you know, kind of just building the best version of you, psychology and mindset and stuff. Um, but in acting, yeah, I just want to be the bridge between people um, and people that they want to, you know, they want to hear from. Um, so I just have a look at, yeah, how you, you, how you put that site together and what your, how your marketing is and whether you're being true to yourself. Um, there's a lot of actors, unfortunately, bring things out in the industry to make money out of actors. Um, and I would always do your, do your due diligence whenever you're signing up for something. And I mean this on me as well, you know, before you sign up and buy a premium membership to act on this, anyone who's not got one yet, go and look at my IMDb. Go and look at what I'm putting out on social media. Go and go and see that ultimately I'm practicing what I'm preaching because a lot of actors out there set shit up and they promise people success that they themselves have never had. And I hate that. The day I stopped work, you know, the day that if I ever stopped working as an actor or my career started falling apart, I can't head up acts on this because it's just not legit. It's not authentic again. Um, I need to be practicing what I'm preaching and... Pra- being a pra- I need to be a practitioner of the own my, my advice that I and other people who are on the site are giving out. Otherwise, again, it just doesn't seem legit to me. It just seems like you're setting something up, promising people stuff that actually you haven't experienced yourself. That's not legit. So just have a look at what you're promising people on the site um, and you know how you're marketing it. That's what I was saying. That's for anyone setting up a business. The businesses that fail the fastest are the ones where the people running them are not authentic and they're chasing money as opposed to giving value. Um, always lead with value. I always try and give way more than I take. I do these broadcasts every week for free. Those resources that I gave you at the beginning of the broadcast, all for free. Um, 90% of my content's free. And the other 10% that I ask people to pay for is 10 quid a month. It's dirt cheap. And you get access to the biggest names in the industry um, that I guarantee you, you could not get access to in any other way. Um, they're not going to sit and talk to you about how you can have success for an hour and a half. Um, if you gave them 10 quid, you know, they're just not going to do that. They're super busy people. Um, so, and they get charity donations as well. So the, um, the funds that people are paying towards their subscription um, are going to, you know, a really good use. So authenticity ultimately is key. Um, David says, what, my mate got that part. What part's that, David? What are you talking about? I don't know what, don't know what we're, uh, what I've missed there. Let us know. Um, Verona says, sorry, meant in my acting career. So what are your actual goals, uh, Verona, in your acting career? And they can't be, to get more auditions or to earn more money. Bullshit goals. Um, the two general. You need specific, measurable, actionable, realistic and time-bound goals. If you go to get that get that goal-setting guide that I put out, atsonthis.tv forward slash P forward slash goals, get that for free. But let us know and we'll be able to help you with something specific. I was in Chicago a few months ago, says Alex. Should have hooked up with Tony Rossi. Uh, so Verona says, I signed with a great agent in September last year and thought I would give it a year. Ah, right, okay to see some progress. If I don't see progress, I feel I should get a job as I'm getting on in age and want to have a family, stable income, etc. Um, yeah, don't allow age to limit you in terms of the beliefs of what you can and can't do. A lot of people started out in this industry later and didn't have success until even later than that. Um, and if you're not getting the success you want or the opportunities you want from your agent, um, please get in touch with them and like, don't just leave it to them to guess that you're not happy. Um, definitely reach out and have a conversation Archie if you're still here how long do you think so Archie's an agent great agent um how long what would you say in Verona's situation Archie if you are still on the broadcast I don't know if you are I think you are I'm showing your face here um so I need to know what you've got already Verona out of your agent in the last year since last September so what have we had September October November December so four months in Archie what would you have expected to have got for one of your clients within four months how many auditions oh, I know it's hard to say everyone's going to be different uh, but what would you have liked to have seen as an agent for one of your clients within four months? That's going to help Verona get a bit more of a barometer on on where she's at. Um, Alex says, I think that's that's definitely something that I did wrong. In terms, right, like I said, we're going back to your business. Yeah, authenticity, Alex. Um, authenticity. He says there, sum it up, authenticity. Yeah, it is. Don't ever, anyone in life, in your acting career, out your acting career, in business, if you just be who you are, it's enough. It's cliched as fuck, isn't it? But... You are enough as you are. And you only need to be in business. Remember this, guys, as well, right? Whatever business you're setting up, if it's online or offline, doesn't matter. To be an expert, you only need to be one step ahead of those that you are coaching. And you're an expert. 
So, you know, I'll be an expert in many things to many people, but equally there are people who are experts to me who I'm learning off all the time. So I go and learn, I find mentors and people who will coach me. I learn from them. I implement it into my own life, implement it into my own life. And then I pass that information on to people who are not as far ahead as me. So there's that kind of ripple effect. You've got to go somewhere to learn this stuff. And then at that point, you're equipped to then teach it. Um, but don't think because you don't know it all, you can't teach anything. You just need to be one step ahead. Your audience just, you know, has to be one step behind you. Um, that's it. So um, so don't let that imposter syndrome kind of ruin you from actually starting up and going out and getting it. Stevie Wayne is here, says you've got to embrace and love who and what you are, man. Steve, you've said something sensible on a broadcast. I'm shocked. <laughs> Steve's the biggest joker in the world. Steve is so true, mate. So true. Authenticity. Ollie Reynolds in the house. All right, Ollie. Good to see you uh, on the broadcast this morning as well, mate. Um, for instance, I know a lot of people have done that. It's terrible. You're talking about people setting up businesses and promising people shit they haven't had themselves. Mental, in it? What crossroads are you at at the moment, Bobby? So is it a crossroads at the moment? Let us know. We'll try and help you choose the right path. Ollie says, I'm a previous gym owner and now help gym owners. Um, but so many people in the fitness industry selling quick fixes. Yeah, it's another industry in it that preys on people's insecurities, you know, and you'll get these people. It's exactly the same as, you know, in all industries. Yeah, you'll get people with these crazy ass six packs, you know, try to convince people they did it in 12 weeks. Which actually, you know what? Like, you're probably taking gear for a start. You're on some kind of steroids or whatever. Um, you do it as a career. So you've been training for like 20 years or whatever, and now you're just preying on vulnerable people who don't have the body composition they want. You're telling them they can have it in 12 weeks if they just follow your secret plan for 300 pounds a month or something like that. Yeah, authenticity, man. I'd rather train with somebody who wasn't promising that and was actually going, you know what? If we work hard and we focus properly, this is achievable within 12 weeks, not some crazy picture of, you know, some totally ripped to shit guy. Um, authenticity is, is key, man. Um, but it's a great side business, that, Ollie. Running an online business is hard, he says, but um, it's perfect to give a second income, to give me an income and start acting. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, everyone should think about it. You all have something to offer, I swear to God. Um, Mark's here. All right, Mark, good to see you, mate. Uh, so Verona says, I've had some brilliant auditions and have written two shows that have been commissioned for TV. You've been commissioned for TV? That have been commissioned? So, I mean, well, I mean, you don't, need, you don't need a job then if you've got two shows that have been commissioned for TV. But I guess I'm having imposter syndrome as part of me feels like I'm going to crash and burn. I've wanted this for years, but feel maybe I'm not good enough. There you go. It's not, she says overshare. It's not overshare at all. That's just totally natural. Um, that's, just, that's just limiting beliefs around what you can and can't achieve that have probably been forced upon you by past experiences that, you know, have made you believe things that you were never meant to believe. Um, I do an awful lot of coaching on that side of things. People who have had past experiences um, that have, you know, created these limiting beliefs in their head that, you know, they are whatever they, you know, believe they are. And most of the time it's not good enough for whatever. Um, if you've had two shows commissioned, who's, who's commissioned them? What are they? Let us know. Um, then that itself is factual proof that you have absolutely nothing to feel imposter syndrome over whatsoever. One could have been a fluke, not two. Um, <laughs> and you give us all jobs. We'll take that. that and, and I hope you're giving yourself jobs in them as well. If you've got two shows commissioned, don't be like, I'm going to just give my agent a year to get me work. You've just created work for yourself. Um, let us know. So Bobby says, I'm going to turn down a good opportunity, but it's not something I want or plan for. I know in my heart, I don't want to do it. Well, it's, that's the right decision, Bobby. Talking to people today, actually, and just saying how, how important intuition is. I did a great podcast with Andy Pryor, the casting director for Doctor Who. If you go to actsonthis.tv, you can listen to it. It's part of your premium membership. Um, and the podcast is titled Trust in Your Gut. Andy's probably one of the most forward-thinking casting directors I've ever met, and particularly when it comes to diversity and bringing people of ethnicity, um, all different orientations of everything, every, you know, all categories of diversity, disabled, LGBT, um, ethnicity, just everything basically. And I'm sure a lot of the time that's involved taking massive risks and where people would go, oh, you know what, maybe you should play it safe and you shouldn't do that. Um, Andy's big advocate of trusting your gut, that's why I call the podcast Trusting Your Gut, um, your intuition already knows Honest to God, like sometimes you've got to get out of your out of your head and into your heart. I tell that a lot of people. Your heart already knows. Your head will try and justify it in a different way. But if it doesn't feel right, Bobby, um, turn it down. Your no is very powerful. It really is. Your no is more powerful than your yes. The most successful people I know on earth 
say no to practically everything because they know by saying yes, by default, they have to say no to something else. So if they're saying yes to everything, they're by default saying no to lots of other things. And sometimes people just want to say yes to be a people pleaser or they have fear of missing out. And that's bullshit as well. I want to do a lot of work this year putting content out to stop people being riddled with FOMO, um, fear of missing out, because it fucks people up and they go and they do things that they shouldn't be doing because they feel, oh, what if, what if? Well, how about you work towards something where you know, like, actually, if I do this, this will happen. Not if I do this, this could happen. Um, I would work to something that's more certain um, as opposed to, oh, I could do this student film that's paying me nothing and will take up six weeks of my time. But you never know. The student filmmaker could one day go on to be a runner who could go on to be a second AD who in 10 years' time could be a director. Nah. How about you get in touch with the director who's already a director today um, and just like offer them value and try and expedite that, that 10 years? Don't not do things that you know for free for people who are on their way up. Of course not. You should do that, definitely. But don't say yes to everything just because you think it might lead to something. Um, try and say yes to the things that you, you know, have way over a 50% chance of leading to something. Um, I think you just, you'll just get a bit further, a bit faster. Um, you had that tea on this morning. I did, because it's the same day. I'm allowed to wear a t-shirt for a day, Dale. Come on, man. <laughs> and I'm going to costume change just for a, uh, for a live broadcast at nine o'clock at night. But I did. Although, you know what? If it was a black one, I've got a order of about 15 black t-shirts that are all the same. So if it was a black one, it could be a new one. You never know. Um, amazing podcast. Listen to it today. Oh, you did. So you heard the podcast with Andy Pryor, Alex. He says, awesome, po- amazing podcast. Honestly, guys, I swear, I'm not doing like a sales pitch here. Like, I'm, I hate sales. I, I fucking hate it. But if you've not got a membership for this.tv, just go and, get, go and get one for one month. It's a tenner, right? You can cancel it immediately if you want you don't need to reach out to anybody to do that either like some of these sites i hate it that's bullshit where you sign up for something and then they say oh to cancel you can, to cancel it you can cancel anytime you want but to cancel you've got to ring an, this 0800 number that's only available between one and three on a thursday afternoon and um, you can cancel literally on your own on your own terms in your members area I don't give a shit i mean i want you to stay on the site but only if you think it's valuable um it is valuable but give it a try Pay you 10 quid, sign up for a month, you'll get access instantly to hundreds of hours worth of, uh, of podcasts with the greatest casting directors, directors, writers, producers, talking Oscar winners, BAFTA winners, Emmy-nominated casting directors, everybody at the top of the TV industry. You'll get access to it all, and they'll tell you how you should go about your career this year. You know, this is evergreen advice. If you follow it and act on it, that's why it's called Act On This, it's impossible not to have more success if you follow this advice and act on it. Um, honestly, so thanks for listening to that, Alex. He says amazing podcast. It is genuinely like this is stuff that I don't just do, you know, to put out there for everyone else. I follow all this advice myself. Um, I'm a practitioner of all this. It's it's gold. Seriously, you should go and absolutely give it a go in 2019 if you've not done it before. Amy says, "Oh my God, FOMO hits big time, and people pleasing needs to stop this year for me." Right, Amy, you've got to stop saying yes to everyone else, and please just start saying yes to yourself. It's massive. So many people just don't say yes to themselves enough. The analogy I always use is like, you know, when, when the, the oxygen, hopefully it's never happened to you. It's never happened to me, touch wood. Oxygen masks fall in an aeroplane, right? What do they always say? The, the air, air hostess at the start or host, whatever, I don't know, air steward, yeah, <laughs> trying to be PC. The air steward says, listen, before you put on, the, try and help anyone else with their oxygen mask, even your kids, you've got to put your own on first because if you don't put your own oxygen mask on, you're going to fall unconscious and you're going to be useless, you know, you'll be able to help anybody. Um, and if you're just saying yes to everybody, Amy, but yourself, you're never going to be of use really because you're just going to be drained all the time. When your well is empty, you've got nothing else to give. Um, so everybody in 2019 should make a concerted effort this year to say yes to themselves. And you know what? And you can say no to other people really politely and in a way that's completely non-offensive. People email me all the time, um, you know, asking me, whether I want to, you know, just just stuff around business, around the acting industry, you know, would you want to vlog this? Would you want to come and, you know, cover this or that? I can't do it all. There's me, there's Petch who do the vlogs and film all the stuff, rats on this and stuff. We just can't cover everything all at once. Um, and I just, I'm like, listen, I'm so grateful that you, you know, you thought of me and you reached out. Right now, I'm completely maxed out because I generally book things at least a month, two months in advance. Um, I'm, you know, I'm currently maxed out until April. Um, you know, please drop me an email, you know, a bit, a bit later in the year, maybe in March, you know, we'll see if we can, we can do something later on. Um, 
And I, and I say no in such a lovely way um, because that's the right thing to do as well. Um, that they just see my back going, oh, listen, totally get it, not a problem. And people say no to me. I'm reaching out all the time to other people, seeing if they'll come on the website, if they'll do an interview with me, et cetera. And I get loads of no's. Um, but people, you know, it's just part of life, but people will say no in a way that's like, actually, you know what? Completely get it, fair play. Um, and uh, and yeah, you just crack on, you know, you move on to the next thing. So you don't say yes to everybody, Amy. Say yes to yourself for a bit. Um, I said it's a tough one. So this is Verona about your about your your dilemma. Each agent has stronger, weaker relationships than others. I think that everything comes down to that. An actor should never blame themselves for a lack of meetings. All my clients are seen each month, but it's quality over quantity. I agree with that definitely. Um, so yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult in it really to put a number on it. People are like, how many auditions should I be getting a month? And you know what? Like some months I can go with nothing. Two months I can go with nothing. And then get three the following month. So then it averages out like like one a month or sometimes, you know, before Christmas, the last week of Christmas, I got two. Um, so you just don't know kind of what's coming. But I think open dialogue, Verona, with your agent's really important. A lot of people, have people come to the on this meetup sometime and say, oh yeah, I signed with an agent over a year ago and I've not, I've not, I've never met them. So they sign without meeting them for a start, which I think is a bit of a mistake. And then they um, haven't seen them in, in, they haven't seen them for anything. Like as in they haven't got them anything over a year. And I'm like, right, at what point, how long were you going to wait? before you got on the phone and said, right, not, you know, what's, what's kind of not working here? Um, and can we work together to sort it out? Or do you think that there's nothing you can do for me? And then you can move on. You don't want to waste years of your life with an agent um, or, you know, in any area of your life, really, like, you know, where stuff isn't working for a long, long time because you're not here for a long time. Talking about Archie today, you know, there's like the kind of cannot be, you know, compassion in business. It doesn't mean if you if you leave an agent that you hate them as a person or anything like that. Like, you know, it's just business ultimately. And if you were a plumber and you're getting your plumbing supplies from somebody, and then some somebody couldn't get you, you know, say you needed copper pipe, and you got it off this company for three years, and then they said, "Oh, I'm really sorry, we we can't get that anymore," you wouldn't go, "Oh God, like I can't say I'm going to leave them." You know, like, they've got me copper pipe for three years. Like, oh, it's just like a relationship. I've got to stay with them. You go, all right, well, not a problem. Thanks very much. We're going to find a different supplier who can get me some copper pipe. Now you can't. Just the same with auditions. Sometimes agents take you to a place where they're like, right, you know what? We've exhausted what we can do for you. Time to move on. I think that's probably a bit early for you if you've only been with them four months, though, um, Verona. So, yeah, hang in there. And if you just got two shows commissioned, you can give us all jobs, definitely. Um... Alex saying, all from River River Island. Yeah, the T-shirts are from... Alex works in River Island. These T-shirts are all River Island, Alex, definitely. Six quid, total bargain. Um, I've started wearing tight black T-shirts to be more like you. Thank- <laughs> Great fashion, Bobby. Great, love it. Dale says, I'm in. How do I sign up? You're talking to us on this, Dale. Dale, I'll show you, mate. I'll show you how you do it. And again, well, that's if I've got internet connection here. Let me see if I, uh, if I have got internet connection on my Mac. Come on. Yes, I have. Don't know why it was dropping out before. Right, let me share my screen with you. For those who have not ever had an Acts on This membership, this is what you do. You go to actsonthis.tv and you're on the homepage here. Directly under this message, it says, transform your acting career with advice from the industry's elite. Really mean that. Get the career advice direct from the industry's best casting directors, agents, actors, writers, and more. No one can dispute that. Names on this site are just freaking massive. Um, I mean, these are just some of the things in the last couple of months that we've got. I mean, there's Rachel Shenton. She won an Oscar last year. Victor Jenkins, awesome casting director, cast humans, Broadchurch. Rob James Collier from Downton. You'll see him in the Downton movie. Uh, he plays Thomas in Downton. Peter Hunt, the head of Hollyoaks Casting. There's Debbie Horsfield. She wrote Poldark and a, and a BBC uh, drama I was in last year called Age Before Beauty. Michael Jackson is one of the country's biggest um, commercial casting directors. Guy Howe, great agent from WGM Talent. You'll recognize Hayesha from Hollyoaks. This is a podcast with my voiceover agent talking about how you get into voiceover. Um, an age, uh, uh, well, not just an agency, but an industry and an agency that completely changed my life. Julie Hesmanhouse, you'll know, was playing Haley from Coronation Street. She then went on to do Banana and Cucumber. She then starred in Broadchurch. She's just done Doctor Who. There's Asan Jai. Uh, one of Emmerdale's latest sign-ins plays a character called Ellis Chapman Nick Phillips a, f- a veteran of, of, of directing um, in Soap EastEnders Corey Emmerdale um, awesome guy um, and they're just like things that we've done recently there's shed loads more um, all you would do at the bottom of this page uh, Dale is a little sign-up thing here you just basically click on 10 quid a month if you want to pay monthly 
Cancel whenever you want. I don't care. Not locking you into anything at all. I know what it's like to be an actor. You don't have loads of money all the time. Cancel whenever you want. Um, or if you want to save 30 quid, you can pay for a year up from 90 quid for an entire 12 months. Works out like £7.50 a month um, or thereabouts. Um, and you just basically click on one of these sign up buttons, takes you through to a page where you whack in your name and your email address and your payment info. Um, and you'll be signed up within like 60 seconds. You then get access to the members area um, where absolutely everything is. Um, and you get access to all the podcasts, video interviews, live broadcasts, um, all kinds of stuff that's, um, that's going on. And I've got so much coming up this year, honestly, so much, um, some really, really cool, uh, features over the next month, you know, and we've got, we've got Dan Hubbard, um, one of the biggest cast directors in the country coming on to do a live broadcast, a live Q and a, um, and also what I'm doing is in the members area as well. You know, we've got the Facebook group for us on this, which is great, but it's kind of public, you know, it's closed, but it's public in a certain extent that, you know, every, anyone can join it if they want. Um, I'm going to create a private community on the website itself that you can only get access to if you're a premium member. It's going to be very similar to Facebook, um, but it's going to be an area where, you know, real conversations can happen. Um, there'll be like, you know, weekly videos and stuff going on there, you know, extra coaching going on there. Um, and you lot will be able to email each other through the site as well. So you'll be able to collaborate, you'll be able to hook up with each other. You can find an accountability partner um, and that's going to be exclusive to premium members on the website. So I'm just going to try and give more value to those who are investing um, in ads on this um, this year than, than those who aren't. I feel people who you know are stepping up and investing in themselves and me and everything that's going on just deserve to be rewarded more. So um, so yeah, get get a membership. Try it. Just try it out for a month. If you don't like it, just sack it off. But I promise you, you won't want to because I'm going to be giving you so much this year. Um, so try it out, Dale. Would be great to welcome you to the community, mate. Um, Verona says that's the only reason I got a better agent. The shows are comedy. One is BBC Three short form, and other is Channel Four long form. They are both in pre-production. Also, I haven't landed any of the auditions I've been for. So after these shows, if they flop, hey, listen, come on, right? You catastrophize in here, Verona, and this is ridiculous. If these flop, I have no other work, right? What if they fly? You're focusing. This is what happens, right? Your brain, your brain works off something called negativity bias. Naturally, we all slide towards a negative. It's the thing that talks you out of doing anything. The minute you have an idea for something, roughly, science suggests within five seconds, your brain will begin to feed you ideas of why it won't work. Um, you've got to actively silence that and focus on the possibility that it will work. Because if it's been commissioned, you know, and this has been greenlit, you know, and and it's happening, it's not just you who's betting on it. There are commissioners at the biggest networks in the country who've gone, yeah, I think this, this could go. There's, you know, there's people, other people in the mix who have gone, Verona, this is great, let's do it. Um, I would convince myself these are going to absolutely fly. Like you are, you won't give your best um, whilst your mindset is focusing on if these flop, I have nothing. You're going to develop what's called a scarcity mindset. Um, you need to live with abundance and go, actually, you know what? You need to make the excitement of these working out far louder than the fear of them not. And I mean that in every area of your life because you will lose if you don't. Like, please, this is the, like to have two shows commissioned is like a dream for so many people who like, never have any shows commissioned. Um, like, don't waste it. Don't waste the opportunity focusing on what might happen if it doesn't work. Make it work. Like, seriously, like that's such a privilege. Don't squander that. Don't focus on it not working. You focus on on it on it working and make you make it work. Um, definitely. Um, so many comments to see what's going on. Need to make 2019 goals. Do it, Mark. Get that agent and those additions. Do it, man. You're you're in charge of that. You're the only one who can do that. Definitely. Alex has been reading a book called The Life Changing Magic. I'm not giving a fuck. Yeah, it's great. We looked at we looked at that on the book club last year. Actually, very very good book. Um, definitely. Um, I recommend that as well, Alex. Definitely. Uh, you need to do the Bulletproof Actor course with Ross says Verona. So you know what? <sighs> Seriously, again, I ate like you know. Uh, what's it tooting my own trumpet whatever you call it but yeah so I do something called Bulletproof Actor um, Unstoppable Confidence Infinite Success once a year it's a mindset coaching program um, that goes super deep on science back positive psychology ultimately ridding yourself and destroying all these limiting beliefs around what you can and you can't achieve it's five weeks super in depth um, genuinely changes people's lives uh, I, I'm not going to be running it again until November this year it happens just once a year uh, but if you go to bulletproofactor.com um, to get on the waiting list, like anyone who really wants to nail their mindset and their psychology, 
um, bulletproofactor.com, go check it out. And for those who've already been through the program, um, I'm working on something brand new for you guys this year. It's only available to you. It's not going to be public. It's just available for graduates, but it's something that I think is going to change the game. And it's going to be a 12, it's a 12 month commitment though. It's the only thing. It's not five weeks like the main program. This is a 12 month commitment. So it's only for those who are freaking like super dedicated. Um, and it's only available for Bulletproof Actor, Unstoppable Confidence, Infinite Success graduates. It's not going to be publicly available, but keep an eye on your inbox for more information on uh, on that. Um, definitely. Uh, Verona says, thank you so much. I'm going to change my outlook. I totally agree. You've got it, Verona. You owe it to yourself. Your future self thanks you for focusing on the positive because it will work out. Honestly, it will work out. You get what you focus on. I swear to God, you get more of it. What you appreciate, appreciates. You get more of what you're focusing on. If you're focusing on it not working, you're going to find more reasons why it won't. If you focus on it absolutely flying, you're going to find more reasons why it will. And you're going to focus on that and you're going to make it happen. Um, and that applies to everyone on here in every area of your life. Don't focus on what you don't want. You're going to create more of it. Focus on what you want and figure out ways to get it. You're going to see more opportunity. That's science as well. Part of your brain called your RAS. Google it, your reticular activating system. It's, it's the same thing that makes you see. I use the example all the time. When you're thinking of buying a new car, and you go out, you might have a model in your head and make a model in your head and you go out on the road the next day and you see that car everywhere. It's not because you've manifested that shit or like, oh, you know, it's because your brain, you've tuned your RAS into it. Same reason why I used to go out on a Friday night to bars when in my early 20s and I'd buy a t-shirt. Um, I'd treat myself, oh God, you know what? I used to squander money. I'd treat myself to a t-shirt. I worked near Selfridges in the traffic center. I'd go and buy a new t-shirt from Diesel or something like that. And um, I would, I'd go to a bar and there'd be 400 people in that bar. I would see, I would like, I couldn't help but find the one guy in there who had my t-shirt on as well. And it's not because I manifested it and brought it into my life. It's because I trained my, you know, my, my RAS was focusing on that t-shirt because I just bought it. So thus I saw it in the club. If you're focusing on what you want, you will see ways to get it and they won't pass you by. That's, that's like, that's how, that's the science behind the secret basically. Um, you can't just think of things and they appear. You think of them and you see ways to get them because you're focused on them. Um, definitely. Um, so hope, uh, yeah, hope you just, yeah, go, go for that. Definitely. Um, without a doubt, don't let anybody talk you out of it or don't focus on anything not going well. Just, you know, just take it for granted that it's going to go well, basically. Um, right. It's, it's, oh God, it's 10 past 10. Shit. That's gone quick. Right. We'll call it a day. Um, I hope this has been useful. Um, as I say, check out actsonthis.tv, get your membership. If I can do anything for you, I mean that to everybody, drop me an email anytime, ross at actsonthis.tv. Um, can't answer like straight away, but I'll always answer. Might take a week, 10 days or something like that, but if I can help you with anything. Um, or even better, you know what, get the get the input of not just me, but like the entire community. Join the Facebook group. Uh, most of you in it right now watching this, facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash actsonthis.tv. Um, post a post in there. It's, you know, it might be a bit scarier putting it out publicly. Um, but you're going to get the cumulative benefit of nearly 10,000 actors that are in that group. Um, so between us, we can find you an answer for, for anything in this industry between nearly 10,000 of us. Um, so go and do that. I'm going to be back next Monday for um, the book club. I don't know what book we're going to be looking at yet. Um, I'm going to, I'll, I'll tease you with it later over the weekend probably. If you've got any suggestions, you know, drop me an email again. Tweet me at Ross A. Grant at Act On This TV. Let me know um, if there's something we should be looking at. Um, particularly if it's new, you know, and this is like a book that's just been published because um, I'm not going to know about that, you know. I do as much research as I can, but I miss stuff. So please let me know if there's something that maybe you got for Christmas. You're like, this is a really good book. We should definitely look at that um, this year and we will do. Um, and yeah, just get excited about this year, please. It's like, I've got such a good feeling for 2019. And yeah, I don't, you know, a lot of people say that every year, don't they? This year's going to be my year. Um I feel like every year should be your year, but I just feel there's something in the air, 2019, something, you know, big stuff's happening for people this year. Um, so I'm excited about it. Get excited, make that excitement more, you know, make it louder than the fear that you've got around anything. Um, and I will catch up with you guys next Monday. Um, night, Karen, great to see you here. Sharon says, thanks, Ross. I'll watch this again tomorrow. Miss most of it, taking girls to bed. First day back at school tomorrow. So tough getting them. Oh, Oh, it's bad, isn't it? Oh, do you remember how it felt that first day back? Oh, f oh, it's awful, isn't it? I remember, do you know what? I used to go into every school holiday, whether it was summer holidays or Christmas holidays or whatever. And, I, you know, you get homework set. I don't know if kids get as much homework as I used to get. I seem to used to get shitloads of homework. Um, 
And I would go into the holidays with such good intentions going, right, I'm just going to uh, do five minutes a day. And then by the end of the holidays, it'll all be done. Did I ever do five minutes a day? Never, never, ever did five minutes a day. And just basically ended up crying like <laughs> the day before going, oh my God, I've got all this to do. And Mrs. Hughes is going to kill me. Oh, they say school's the best days of your life. Your life's what you make of it. Like school doesn't have to be the best days of your life. Um, so get out there, make 2019 the best days of your life. Thanks to everyone watching. Thanks to those watching on um, the replay on YouTube. Thanks to those who are listening on the audio experience. Um, and I'll be uh, yeah back next Monday. Um, stay in the group, though. I'm going to do live stuff all week, um, every day, probably in the morning when I'm getting my breakfast. Um, and let's get ready to smash it. All right. Love to you all. Thanks so much. Bye for now. Yeah. <laughs>